How's it going, folks? <clears throat> Randy Rich here with the T. But before the T, now that I finally figured out what the T is, I'm going to give you the PPW 543rd taping results. The opening contest saw two friends go at it. Two baby faces, if you will. Rockstar Rosie faced badass Brandon Campbell. It was a great wrestling match. It gave a great example of what Premier Pro Wrestling is. That ended up seeing a match that could have gone either way, going in favor of the former King of the Iron Man, Rockstar Rosie. Second matchup the evening was a triple threat matchup under Challenge Pro Rules. And let me tell you, Challenge Pro or Challenge Pro Rules this is an original PPW concept match. They are triple threat matches where all three men are in the ring at the same time. And you win by pinning, submitting, or eliminating one of your opponents over the top rope. This match featured Jesse Danger taking on the relentless Jay Leon, taking on the rookie sensation Charlie Marconi, who was amazingly heavily represented and supported at PPW's 543rd taping. He did a great job in that matchup as he was for sure the underdog. <clears throat> what an unbelievable finish of that one when Jay Leon got crucifixed by Jesse Danger. Charlie ran over to try to break up the pinfall and while Jay was in the pin position he launched Charlie over the top rope to the floor and your winner of that one was Jay Leon. Then we have badass Brandon Campbell returning to face the Aztec monster, Humek. And even though there was no axe to grind in this match, they both like to work that rough and rugged and strong style out there, and they sure as hell did. Unbelievable match that ended in a double knockout. Then the main event of the evening it was a tag team, cha not a tag team championship match, a tag team match which featured the team of Rockstar Rosie and El Guerrero Jose Acosta, the current PPW heavyweight champion, facing off against Marcus the Science Smith and one quarter of the science class. Together they represented half the science class, Mickey Sin. Great tag team matchup, and one can only imagine everything was thrown at each other in that matchup but the kitchen sink. Here comes the T. Marcus the Science Smith wants to see the science class have every belt in the company. Right now, the science class has zero gold as its Challenge Pro champion. Mickey Sin is the King of the Iron Man champion. In this matchup, Marcus the Science Smith, who has been chasing El Guerrero Jose Acosta for about a month now, vowed that he would pin Jose. In the process of pinning the current champion, even in the tag situation, it would have put him right up there for that number one contendership to face El Guerrero for the title two out of three falls. Now, while he was absorbed or self-absorbed or team-absorbed with that one, he forgot that if Rockstar Rosie could pin Mickey Sin, Rockstar Rosie would end up being the number one contender for Mickey Sin's King of the Iron Man matchup. And fortunately for Rockstar Rosie, that's what happened. There were two pins in that matchup as the referee almost lost control, but didn't lose control enough to disqualify both teams. And at the end of the day, it was Rockstar Rosie getting the legal pin over Mickey Sin and the frustration and Marcus the Science Smith is undescribable as he actually did end up pinning Jose for a three count. Only that pinfall did not count. And that brings us to this week. Premier Pro Wrestling presents the Wild Card Battle Royal. The match will start out with the first fall. Ten guys will face each other in the first fall, which is over-the-top elimination. This decides... The second fall of the Battle Royal, where the same 10 men will compete in the order they were eliminated in the first fall and the second fall, which is one by pinfall. Another PPW original concept match that you are not going to want to miss. Marcus the Science Smith vows that in that matchup with the 10 men, he will become PPW's number one contender to face El Guerrero one more time for that PPW title. And don't forget, this is yet to be proved 
but the odds are in his favor as four of the ten men are science class members. We're talking, of course, about Marcus the science smith, Zero Gold, Mickey Sin, and a returning quote-unquote Charlie Hustle. This is getting interesting, folks. All right, I'm Randy Ritchie. This was the T. Check out in the description if you're within the Rockford area. It's going to make it worth your while to make it to see the taping. And if not, there you can see how to support Premier Pro Wrestling. But more importantly, you'll be able to watch the entire taping, which is PPW 544, by subscribing to PPW Live.